Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to accept keyboard input from the user. And that could take a couple of different forms. So let's start out with the scenario that we want to actually capture the user's name. So you could see here, I have a really simple project. I have a label here, what is your name? And we want the user to be able to input some text so that we can use it in our project. The first thing we're gonna need is some sort of control for them to share their input with us. What I wanna do is come up to main and I'm gonna add a child node and Godot makes it really easy to accept user input. So the node that we want here is called line edit. And you can see here, its description is a control that provides single line string editing. And so I'm gonna click create, and then I'll just resize this a bit so it's easy for you to see. And I'm just going to put it in here and you can see it's called line edit. Now I can give this a dynamic font if I want to, but let me just save and run the project and you could see here I can click into it and if I type on my keyboard I can actually input information of course we want to style this a little bit so let me just uh, select this and I'm gonna go ahead and add a custom font just so we get something reasonably large to see and then there's all kinds of settings here I'm gonna set it to the center the alignment to the center if we wanted it to be a password we can turn this on that we need it to be secret so let me just see here, let's run that and we should see now we've got the proper font and it's reasonably big. So the question is, how do we actually use this in code? So what I wanna do is actually have a, another label where we can see the output of what the user has typed in. But before we do that, let's actually go into our code. You could see here, I have ab absolutely nothing. And so when you're working with a line edit node, what you have to do is actually add a signal to it. And there's a couple of different ones. So let's go ahead and add the signal text changed. I'm gonna click enter. And when that happens, I can, let's just for fun, let's find out what the text is. So I'm gonna say text plus, and then I know the name of that component is line edit. We're just gonna print out what is the text in that node called line edit. Let's see what happens. And so if I type in here, I see text A, text B, C, so on and so forth. And that, that's just gonna grow the more text that I put in it. So anytime it changes, I am accepting that text. Now, some sometimes we only want to accept when the user does something, such as press enter, right? We don't want to capture every single letter the user's typing. What we wanna do in this example is to capture their name. So one of the ways that we might do that is to listen for some keyboard input. Now, another function that is built into Godot that we haven't talked about is the input function. And this is very similar to the ready function. It comes with Godot, it's prepackaged, and it's really useful for us to do stuff with. One of the things that's important about the input function is that it takes one parameter. Now, we could call this parameter anything. We could call it E. A lot of times you'll see people call it EV for event, but I like to just so we understand what it means that we're going to just call it event. If you don't have that parameter in there, Godot will complain. Now, what we wanna do here is check if something has occurred. And specifically, we are going to see is the input that just happened, is it key pressed? And then is it key enter. In other words, we want to know, did the user press the enter key? And if that is true, then we want to do something. And so I'll just test this by putting in a print statement, the user pressed enter. And we'll just make a statement of that. And then I'm going to comment out this other one just so we can see how this works. Okay, let me save this and let's see, do I have, is Godot complaining? Oh, I need to, because I commented that out, I need to put a pass statement in there, good. Oh, I forgot to end my if statement and let me run this, good. And I'm gonna type in my, what is your name? I'm gonna type in my name, Dan. And when I hit the enter key, like right now, if we look down at the bottom, the user pressed enter. And so what we might wanna do is store that value in a global variable. So let's 
create a global variable and let's call it username and by default it's not equal to anything when the user press enter I am going to set that global variable username to be equal to line edit dot text and then maybe what I could do is actually put that text into another label so let's come back over to design mode and just quickly I'm going to duplicate this first label and let's I'm going to rename this just so we can tell the difference we'll call that the welcome label and right now they're on top of each other here's the welcome label by default I want it to be empty so it's not going to have any text but when the user presses enter I want to update that label so let's create a function called welcome user that is simply going to say that I want the welcome label text to be equal to some string and I'm going to say welcome plus the value stored in username just like that and then of course I have to make sure that I call that function when the user presses enter and let's see if this works what is your name I'll put in Emily I press enter welcome Emily fantastic that works very nicely now I want to show you one last thing how we can capture keyboard input so uh, in order to do that I need to switch over to design mode for a minute and I am going to in main I'm going to create uh, a sprite very quickly and as a child of that whoops as a child of that sprite I am going to add a color rect good and then I will just set its color to red so that we can see it and then I'm going to move this color rect over here so one of the things that we can do is look for other keyboard input so that we could move this sprite around so for example if I come into my code right now I am paying attention to whether the key being pressed by the user is the enter but of course I could also listen for other keys so for example I might want to say else if the key is W do something and so if that was the case what I could do is say I want to actually move sprite I want to change its position and I'm going to make it's actually if W is typically the up direction so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to say plus 10 so let's see if that works I'm going to run my code and if I press the W button whoops I'm going the wrong way I actually need to subtract 10 and if I hit W you see I can move that box around by simply adjusting its what the Y position of sprite and of course I could do this for the other four common keys used for navigation for south that means I would be adding this and I can keep going to do a which would be actually changing the X value and making it smaller reducing the X value and finally the D key which would actually add 10 so if I save this and run it I have full control over now I can move this left right up and down very easily using the built-in index function in Godot and I can also using a line edit node I can accept user input and store that in a variable for later use so that is how we accept keyboard input from the user